This is a secret to punching a hole through a half inch of leather or pretty much anything else you'd ever want to punch a hole in. We've all seen one of these. It's a regular old Harbor Freight. Uh, one ton Harbor Press cost you about 40 bucks. The little, uh, what is it, 3 8 inch. Yeah, I believe so. 3 8 inch hole. Well, you know, for the Kydex dies the matching hole up here I did mine a little different than everybody else does because I want them dead nuts perfect so I actually closed the ram all the way held it tight that's a one ton ram the plant is not going to move flipped the whole thing upside down and drilled the hole up through the bottom through both of them so they're perfect I mean the other method works but I wanted it perfect perfect excuse the crowd crazy messy bench been building and making and crafting and yeah, whatever Just holster kydex leather tools everywhere but you know so you drill a hole for the bottom die get the little uh, allen screw for the top die the usual you know whatever but it, it got me thinking and when you work on taking guns and knives apart you need a little punch set, and sometimes you don't like hammering on them. So, I got a little crafty. Luckily, I own a lathe, and I made these. One's a half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch brass punch. On the same size uh, ground three eighths inch holder, so it'll fit up in the die, and you can tighten it with the screw. And the other thing I found this out later that these are awesome for is when you're making your Kydex holster sheaths, whatever, and you don't want to rivet them together so you can clean it after you're done sanding. Well, these punches are exactly a quarter inch, and they're a lot longer than a, a Kydex rivet. So drill your holes, make a couple of these, and stick them in there, and it'll hold the Kydex tight while you sand it, and then you can just pop them out do what you gotta do, pop them back in, it'll hold it perfectly tight and when you get all done take them on and rivet it. And then I made the 3 8 inch punch um, which I found out this, this is a I uh, sanded this down a hair undersize and it'll fit through this hole just perfect and if you put it up in here and you straighten everything up this thing will punch a hole through 93 thousandths kydex. I thought I had a scrap laying here. I punched a hole in, but I don't see it. But yeah, it's crazy. Holster leather. I uh, I punched through some uh, uh, 7 thousandths spring steel body shims the other day. I needed a hole. I didn't want to drill them. Worked great. And then I took my... Uh, snap and rivet setters I machined the back off just turned them down because this was just too much undersized and it was getting crooked in there so I machined the back off and I made a the right size holder to go up in the in the ram um, made a quarter inch steel punch turn that all down come on focus camera because you know sometimes brass don't cut it got the uh, the crimper for the uh, uh, your snaps, some of your snaps. Same thing, made a little holder for it. And this, I don't know why anybody else hasn't thought of this. This is awesome. Steel plug. Turned it down, polished it up. Put two quarter twenty plug screws in it. I could have just done one, but I don't have a bottoming tap. And I didn't want to grind off one of my taps. So I just drilled the hole all the way through, tapped it all the way through, and then I put a plug in from each side. And that's a 80 thousandths hole, I believe, drilled in the bottom. And it's 80 thousandths because a standard heavy duty sewing machine needle. Now, come on, focus. I don't want to focus. Whatever. I can kind of see it. They're round and they got a flat spot on them. But the round part is 80 thousandths. So, 
you stick this in there, put your little set screw up against the flat side, and it holds it tight. And it would punch a hole through just about everything, or anything. And I got to thinking, I said, hey, well, I didn't have enough reach, so I got a really long needle and I sharpened it. This is just a sewing needle, it's just an eye jammed up in there. And uh, put that on there. But then you, you can't drive a needle into your platen, obviously, or cast iron. So I made this. We've got the standard platen everybody else has. Get rid of that for a minute. This is what makes everything work. It's a piece of three quarter or one inch. Eh, big piece of oak. Plywood would have been better, but I had this piece laying around. Drilled a three quarter inch hole on one side and I jammed a cork in it. Regular bottle cork it was almost all the way through. And I recessed a hole in the back here, and here's the snap setter. So if you need the round, turn around. The heck? Yes. So if you need the round, uh, you know, for round-headed snaps, you got it right there. You put the, the tool in the ram, and this is located directly under the ram. And then if you want the flat side, just flip it over, and you can do your flat-headed rivets. Or the backs of your snaps. But back to this thing. I'm gonna sand a little off so it spins all the way. It's a cork, so your needle can pass all the way through it. And this one's pretty worn out because I just made that holster and all those holes were punched. Now you can use a drill press or hand drill, but I tend to uh, do a lot of work at night, and I'm lazy, and I don't want to go in the shop, and I don't want to fire a drill up in the basement. So this way, I can do all my uh, drill or hole making without making any noise, which works out quite well. Let's make it dead. So there we go. And you bring it down, just like so. And it'll go all the way through, and it's got support, and it works great. Um, crap, I don't have a piece of leather handy. Eh, what can we poke a hole in? This is Kydex. Kydex, this is 93 thousandths, I believe. Kydex. Look at that. Not a problem. I mean, I wasn't even trying hard. The only thing is, you gotta, you gotta put one hand. With like the kydex, the needle gets stuck. You gotta hold it, and then pull the needle back out. I don't know if I can do this holding the camera. Sorry. There we go. But yeah, I mean, it's, that's 93 thousandths. It's so easy. I mean, watch. I'm not even using the handle. That's, I'm, well, I'm using, uh, there's the handle. I'm using an inch, maybe. When I did the belt and I had all those holes, I actually took the handle out and I just twisted the, the shaft here with my hand. It, it puts out that much torque. I mean, it's a one-ton ram, and then you multiply that down to a needle point, and you can literally push a hole through just about anything. But yeah, I thought you'd, uh, you guys might be interested in that little idea. Ideally, if you made this out of nylon or plywood, would probably be better. I mean, wood has a grain and it could break but just doing this with it you're not gonna break it and the way I did the cork when it finally gets too chewed up with holes I'll just pop it out from the back and push another one in it uh, 
really saves on a lot of stuff. Just if you're if you're popping holes through stuff, uh, I'd advise on wearing some safety glasses. I've never broke one doing this, but I have broke needles, and they go flying. And you got to make sure your uh, your cork's in the right spot, otherwise you bend your needle like so. But I was thinking of tapping a little hole through here to hold the pin for an axle. Get this out of here. I just that's a uh, quarter inch brass pin, like uh, for your knife handles. Put that in there, sticks out the back. It fits in the, the regular hole in the arbor press. The other thing I, uh, I figured out. Come over here. The other thing I figured out was, uh, say you got your, your regular plant in there, you got to pop a hole in something quick. You can actually make it work. You just set it up there. Pop your hole. But I mean, that's just me. I'm really lazy. If you do make one of these, make sure you round the uh, the top corner off real nice. Because if you're working with leather, you don't want to drag it over a you know a sharp edge. You'll mar your leather up. But this way, with the the nice polished corner, and then this was uh, oiled and waxed, and the soft cork, you're not gonna. You're not gonna hurt anything. But yeah, I thought uh, I thought that turned out pretty nice. I'm just blown away that nobody else has done it yet. Got to make a little little fancy holder for my my punches, like the little one I made for my my own wrenches here to hold them. But. Uh, Yeah, these little these little brass ones for making Kydex sheaths or Kydex anything work awesome. And you don't gotta worry about your snaps and stuff being straight because it's in a press and you just it, it takes like two fingers. It's it's so easy. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I hope that uh helped anybody out punching holes and stuff. If you make your own, do some modifications, let me know. Alright, we'll talk to you later.